Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today we discuss which game engine is better for ourselves, Unity or Unreal. For those of you out there who are just starting in game development, it is very important you pick the right engine for the type of games you want to make. Nothing lets us understand a game engine more than looking at the games made in that engine. I know of many Unity games and features and have used Unreal in the past and I can safely say that it doesn't matter what program you choose. Simply understand that they excel in different areas. For example, Unreal without a doubt naturally makes a game look stunning. Almost every game that comes out has a beautiful aesthetic. Some people prefer not to dwell too far into the programming side. Unreal does have their coding language, but also offers a free visual scripting add-on called Blueprints. Being a programmer, I do not 100% approve of this because of the limitations I experienced while using visual scripts, but different people will appreciate not having to learn code. Unity on the other hand offers a lot of assets, one of which is called Playmaker. Playmaker is a visual scripting add-on going for a high high price of $65. However, I do believe that purchasing the software does give you a free version, but you are most likely starting off in game development and probably do not want to spend large sums of money just yet. So if you do not have any programming knowledge and do not want to spend any money, Unreal is probably for you. In other aspects such as working for mobile devices, Unity allows free build types that spread over a variety of devices as does Unreal. The key difference between these two is how well they handle compatibility. Unreal is able to deliver high-end games to mobile, claiming that you can make something with similar quality to PC games and the performance is still stable. Unity on the other hand does not handle this very well, but excels at 2D games for mobile. When testing 3D games from Unity, I noticed that the performance was low and had I enabled physics, the battery would be drained from my phone. However, when it came to 2D, battery life was drained really slowly, whether or not I applied physics. Unreal on the other hand does not offer as flexible 2D features, but it is still possible to make a 2D game with what they call Paper 2D. Paper 2D contains within very simple tile set editing sprite and or animation. Other features will require you to make it yourself or download some from the asset store. In regards to Unreal's marketplace, the Unity asset store is mountains above Unreal. The asset store contains user-made plugins and add-ons, 3D models, 2D sprites, pre-made scripts, all usually at a cheap price averaging $5 to $10. Unreal offers similar content but at a higher price and their selection has always been very low. The best part of Marketplace is that they always deliver stunning content, whereas you can be left with a disappointing asset from the asset store, given this is a result of allowing $1 purchases. When it comes to the learning curve of each engine, it can easily be given to Unity. If you learn through documentation, then both engines are equal. The quality of tutorials given are equivalent as well. Some are bad, some are good. But Unity has a higher popularity, therefore more user input for you to Google. Unity answers will by far have almost every answer to your problems, whereas troubleshooting your Unreal project may be slightly more difficult. Again, if you do not understand the jargon that documentation can sometimes give you, then your best bet is to go with user-made documentation and video tutorials. Taking a look at the showcase for each is extremely important. I prefer Unity games, because I find them more diverse, whereas most Unreal games I have seen have a similar look to each, but often is diverse in story, theme, and function. I also got into the industry through Unity made games, therefore the choice presented was pretty biased and I ended up with Unity. Now there may be a bit of disagreement on is there a best option, hence why this video isn't a few minutes long. Around now should be when you have made a decision on what you want, and for what reasons. But if you care about little details, I implore you to continue watching, as I go over games. 
Unreal games tend to focus on realism. Their lighting naturally has a realistic feel to it. The first game made in Unreal that I've taken a liking to is Chivalry Medieval Warfare. The game can be summarised as a medieval version of Call of Duty. First person, battle style, short games. This construct is fairly common in the gaming industry and Torn Banner executed it to an extremely high standard. Amazing quality, realistic features, derivative idea, but this played a strength in Chivalry's favour. However, let's take a look into other popular games. Bioshock comes to mind as an amazing game I enjoyed growing up, along with Kingdom Hearts, who would eventually make the switch to the Unreal Engine 4 in their third instalment. Given the game had a cartoon or anime feel in the originals, the more recent versions are extremely polished. Bioshock follows the same motif and playstyle of a lot of other Unreal games, which tend to lean towards aesthetic quality and story rather than original gameplay. Unreal Tournament, being one of the faces of Unreal, has progressed with the engine. Obviously as we go back in time a bit, the focus of many developers was gameplay. In modern times, developers tend to lean towards either aesthetic stories or gameplay in PC and console gaming. Many AAA studios are able to accomplish both, but as you enter the field you'll soon realise the difficulty of maintaining this. A few people right now are disagreeing with me to the idea that Unreal games are not diverse. Let me explain myself. The most popular games that come out of Unreal, and you can see this in their showcases, are fighting games with beautiful aesthetic. If you keep up with popularity, chances are you've heard of Gears of War, Homefront, Mass Effect, Medal of Honor, Mirror's Edge, Outlast, Smite, Thief, Ark Survival Evolved, Dead Island 2, and the upcoming Sea of Thieves being incredibly popular on YouTube and social media. There are thousands of diverse games made on the engine, just none of them share the same popularity as those above. Unity on the other hand has diversity, but lacks the forever loved quality of Unreal. Unity games that stand out to me are Slender, and one of my favourite games, Ori and the Blind Forest. Now you're probably thinking in confusion as to why I think a game like Ori and the Blind Forest lacks beautiful aesthetics. Remember, we are discussing the engines they are made on. Ori and the Blind Forest is beautiful because of the developer's choice of artwork, effects and animation, as are a lot of Unity games. A major part of 3D games are lighting. Unreal is able to handle the intricate realistic lighting, a major component in the beauty of 3D games. In order to get a similar effect in Unity, we bake lighting, hence why I explain that even cubes and spheres look good in Unreal. They don't have textures, but they look really really nice. Slender, on the other hand, can be considered rather outdated, but did extremely well for its time. Because of Unity's basic lighting, the engine is extremely good for mobile developers. In fact, most other games that come to mind are on mobile. Alto's Adventure, Temple Run, Dead Trigger, Plague.Inc, The Room, Monument Valley, Fallout Shelter, Crossy Road, Hearthstone, and even Pokemon Go. Other PC games include Guns of Icarus, The Forest, I Am Bread, Super Hot, Firewatch, Inside, and Rust. Notice that a lot of games mentioned above are from indie companies, in comparison to Unreal's companies. It is my belief that Unity serves a greater learning experience for people starting out in game development. If you are wanting to make a professional game and have a small amount of experience behind you, then I would recommend going with Unreal. Mobile games are best made on Unity which serves greater flexibility towards mobile. I understand that it's an important decision because you will most likely use the same engine for the majority of your career, but I hope that my views and opinions can help you decide. On a final note, there are far more than two game engines. Yes it is fine to use any one of them, but starting off as a game dev is all about your learning experience. This is made easier by using the more popular brands. At any point in time you wish to switch engines, the skills are often transferable, as is with any other type of creative software. I wish you the best of luck in your game development. 
Thanks for watching people, check out some of my other videos and subscribe for more game related content. I do hope these videos are helping but if not you can always punish me by leaving a like. <laughs> Thanks guys. Clarity. Chances are you've heard of Gears of War, Homefront, Mass Effect, Medal of Honor. <laughs> oh fuck it. <clears throat>